Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Gamer 3244 bringing you my Cleveland Indians franchise, and this one's going to be at Progressive Field. We're taking on the Colorado Rockies, and I actually just made a trade, and he's at his first start as an Indian today, so I'm not going to tell you, but when we get into the gameplay, you'll see which player I mean. So it's a 3 on one count. We're going to go with the fastball. Here's the pitch. It's going to be fouled off. Thought I had a chance at third with Steven Drew, but it looks like not. So we're going with the curveball. Here's the pitch, it's kind of risky with the full count. But it ends up panning out for us on the outside corner. Strike three, so the leadoff man is down here in the first. So Brett Gardner is up to the plate. He's going to take that one to the second baseman. So yes, I got Brett Gardner from the New York Yankees. The trade worked out. You see Brett Gardner there. I'm going to make sure I change the number to 11. Okay, so we got Michael Bourne up to the plate here. Should take that one to the shortstop. Troy to whiskey, but he bobbles it. Nice slide feet, just like a boss. And I'm safe on the error. So Nick Twisher is up to the plate. And the reason I got Brett Gardner was because Daniel Murphy really hasn't been doing good. And he's really had been struggling, so I traded Carlos Santana, and I got Brett Gardner. So, that's basically what happened, but look, I got the perfect jump, sliding in head first, and the, and the tag, well not the tag, the throw was offline outside, and I was safe. Okay, so, here's the pitch. Oh. Okay, Spusher fouls that one off. Wait, who's number 11 on the team? Oh, Steven Drew's number 11. Oh, trying to pick me off, but I'm in there. Yeah, he's not going to pick me off. Here's the pitch. I waited on that pitch. That's to be grounded to the third baseman for the out. Okay, we got Shelly Duncan up to the plate here. So, full count. Here's the pitch. He drives that one deep. It's going. It's, go it's gone. I I'm not going to do the it's going thing. Because it's obviously a bomb for Shelly Duncan. His first bomb of the season. Now, I'm so happy I got him off the free agents list. Because he's really a Cincinnati Red now in AAA. But because I started like before he got signed. So I saw the franchise earlier. So we take an early 2 nothing lead. Way to go Shelly Duncan. Full count. Laid off some tough pitches. But we got the pitch we wanted and we drove it. So let's see that swing again by Shelly Duncan. Boom. Bomb. You knew. You could just hear it off the bat going. So we'd go by Shelly Duncan muscling up to the plate and doing what has to be done. So now it's really good that our starter has the lead and we're going to go with the fastball outside. It comes a little in, but no problem. Steven Jew has that no problem. Easy scoop for Swisher. One out in the inning. Okay, Troy Two Whiskey's up to the plate. My catcher wants the fastball. I'm not really sure, but here's the pitch. He fouls that one off. I was kind of scared to throw that to Two Whiskey in the first place, but the stupid part is this isn't even Two Whiskey, so I'll get why I was saying that. And strike three on the curveball outside, but he swings and misses. So Michael Brantley is up to the plate, and I'm happy about getting Gardner. Is because now we have a speedy outfield. It's just awesome. Think about this outfield. You have Gardner in center, Michael Bourne in right field, and Michael Brantley in left field. That's an amazing outfield. So I personally think it's cool because like those are the speedy guys. So it's really cool to me that I was actually able to get Gardner. But then again, Santana's a boss, but like you see me, I never use him. I used him once, and I don't think I showed gameplay of it, because I don't think I recorded that, but I used him when like Steven Drew and everybody was getting tired. But, eh, whatever. So anyway, let's get back to the gameplay. Here's the pitch. That's driven deep, but dude, don't bother. It's foul. And what, let's finish this once and for all. He wants something else, but I'm just going with the heater. I don't care. That's driven deep. But Garner's going to end up tracking that down on the warning track. It dies out there. He makes the catch right in front of the wall. 
Whew, so we caught a break right there. We got lucky. Steven Drew's up to the plate. You know him. The one that took Brett Gardner's number. So, he's up to the plate. I'm just going to change his number to 12. Or maybe 17 if nobody has it. Because get it, his number was 7. Um, 17. And but that's driven deep into the left fielder's glove. He gloves that right in front of the warning track for the first out of the inning. Red Sox, Red Sox, Red Sox, off day, Rangers, 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 cool. Okay, so Brett Gardner is out. Another full count, are you kidding me? Put strike three, side retired, oh gosh. Okay, so the full count offering, I'm going with the change up. Here's the pitch. Strike three. First out of the inning. Now let's see if we can roll our double play. Okay, now Trey Tool Whiskey's really up to the plate. Now going with the change up once again. He drives that one to left field. I'm gonna fire that in. Barehanded off the wall. I throw the third. I think he would have been nailed in my opinion, so we got runners on first and second. Well, they do rather. So we ended up get rolling into well, eh, the Rockies ended up rolling into a double play, and we got out of that inning. So we got in unscathed, which was awesome, by the way. So here's the pitch, and swinging a high fastball, strike three, swishes out. Shelly Duncan here's the two-run blow of the ball game. So the Rockies are probably gonna be pitching very carefully to him, and I realized he's really tall. Holy shoot! Ah, oh, strike three on the fastball. Gosh. Okay, so we'll be going with the curveball. Here's the pitch. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, it's a fifth inning already? Wow. I feel like this is going really fast, but let's go with the changeup now. Here's the pitch. That's driven, or dribbled rather, to Steven Drew. Easy play for the first out. And to be honest, I really want to try to go for the complete game shutout. If you don't remember... Um, a couple, well, games ago with my franchise, I almost went for the shutout, but I gave up a home run <laughs> in the ninth inning with two outs. So that time I shut out ended. So here's the pitch. That's to be dri driven in the gap for a double. So we're stopping at second with a double. Okay, so we have a Struble Cabrera on second. Here's the pitch. And that almost hits me. So, ball four. Runners on the corners. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, Jason Kipnis with the one and one count. Here's the pitch, and guess what? I try to lay one down, but it pops up. What a shame. So, Steven Drew is up with the full count. Guess what? My runners are taking off. But I swing at a bad one. But I'm going to have my runners take off again. Uh, I don't care. Here's the pitch. He's watching them. We're going. And it's a double play. Side retired. So what a dumb move by me. It was a ball anyway. The bases should have been loaded. So I'm going to be going with the curve ball. Here's the pitch. You know me. Strike three. Or I can just ground out to Jason Kipnis at second for the out. So now it's a full count offer. He wants a fastball high. No problem. Here's the pitch. That's to be popped up. Oh. Up. Oh, but. Michael Bourne, the computer in right field, makes the catch. So Brett Gardner is up to the plate. Let's see if he can get his first hit as an Indian. And he makes a diving catch, but huh, Gardner beats that out. Infield single. So his first hit as a Cleveland Indian. Way to go for Gardner. So let's watch this play again. So Gardner tries to take this to left field. Well, I mean right field, my mistake, but he does. But he dives with a little twist on his butt. But Gardner safe with the speed. So the Rockies are gonna make a pitching change. So I mean his numbers aren't too bad, but the ERA is kind of too high, but eh, whatever. So it's a two two count. Up oh, Ooh, thank gosh I got back. Ooh, that was close. 
Here's the pitch. I'm swinging miss. But going to safe at second with the stolen base. But it's a strikeout. But hey. We're still safe with the stolen base. That's all that matters. Next push up to the plate. Hey. We have like so many former Yankees. We have Shelly Duncan. He played first base for the Yankees in 2008. Then we have Swisher. The right fielder. And then Jason Giambi. Then Shelly Duncan. So it's like. It's a reunion. It's a reunion. You know what? Taking off a third. Bro, I'm dead red. And so I've retired. So Gomes wants to change up. So I will bring it to you. Here's the pitch. And we have really been care, taking care of Troy Tula Whiskey. Ooh, he almost misses it, but Michael Bourne, I mean Michael Brantley, my mistake, he hangs in there. So where was I with Shelly Duncan? Oh yeah, here's the pitch. Um, fouled off. <laughs> Get it, because we're like, it's like resuming, because Garner was out. He was already up. Um, nobody gets it? Okay, whatever. He fouls that one off too. But Shelly Duncan, I'm happy that we got him. I mean, he's a good DH, because since Jami's only a lefty, Wait, but lefty, you want, if he's lefty, wait, if he's righty, you want a lefty in there. Oh, yeah, the starter was, you know, a lefty, so, but whatever. By swing and miss, it hit the dirt, but I'm just fly head first. Or not, um, out. But you see there, the pitch count is starting to become a factor, almost 100 pitches. I thought that was a strike, but apparently not, but I'm going with the fastball. That's going to be foul. Ooh, that was close. Now I'm going with the change up. Here's the pitch. So, oh my god, Michael Brantley. Look at that tumbus, sumber salt, whatever you call it. That he made out there in left field. Robbing a hit. Way to go, Brantley. Showing off his skills right there. Does a little sumber salt. Ha, saves a run. So Brantley with the full count. Here's the pitch. Takes that one to the first base. I mean, easy routine play for the out. So the pitch count. 121 pitches. Here's the pitch. Can we go for the complete game shot out? Yes, we can! Strike three! I get the complete game. And yes, you see, it was three to nothing. Oh, I, I had a guy score on a wild pitch, but I thought it wasn't really something worth showing. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I finally get my complete game shut up that I've been wanting to get. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and subscribe to my second time 24-7 gaming. And this series is just going to get better and better as we go along. I mean, we got Brett Gardner. We got... It's all working out. It's gonna, ah, crap. I hit my mic. Sorry. It's all going to work out in the long run. I'm doing this stuff for a reason. So the complete game shut out. I can't believe we actually got it. And the Rockies were only limited to three hits, which wasn't that bad. And I think we all know who our player of the game is. Let's see. Was it who I thought it was? Yes, it is. You deserve it, Zach. But after getting up a complete game shot, how can you not get player of the game? Like, let's be completely honest, and let's be real here. I mean, he had a ton of strikeouts, too, I believe. How many did he have? strikeouts for uh maybe not a lot but anyways thanks guys and i will see you in the next video